Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Davina, and today is one of our special cultural story time episodes. So we will go ahead and we'll start our usual way with our hello song, and then we'll get into uh, the introduction of our special culture that we will focus on today. Ready, here we go. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? Again. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? So how are you today? I'm really excited to have you join me. This um special culture that we are focusing on today is near and dear to my heart because we are focusing on the deaf culture and not everyone understands or knows that the deaf community or the deaf culture has its own culture it's its own language and because it's its own language in a lot of communities around the world and here in the United States there is a special deaf culture or um, neighborhood or um, events, things that are only um, understood or uh, experienced for the most part by people that are either deaf and part of the deaf community and or assist, help, or live or work in the deaf community on a regular basis but in doing so they communicate in ASL or American Sign Language for the most part. So in conjunction with Bucknell, we are focusing on different cultures and today we have our special guest, Gabe, who will be helping um, reading a story called Moses Goes to School. And Gabe is uses a hearing aid and he also uses um, ASL or American Sign Language. So we will go ahead and we will start with a, a story that I will read and then we'll introduce Gabe. So the book that I have is called Max Learns Sign Language and this is by Adria Klein. She's the author and the illustrations or the pictures I, are by Mernie Gallagher Cole. So the name of this book again is Max Learns Sign Language. Max and Susan are friends. And remember the sign for friend, friend. And they're in the what? They're on the playground. Susan cannot hear, she is deaf. Like many deaf people, she makes special signs with her hands to talk. Max wants to learn how to talk with his hands too. And why do you think he wants to learn? What do you think, Shane? Right, because they're friends and because she's his friend, he wants to learn how to communicate with her as well. Max takes a sign language class after school and the teacher signs hello. And hello and goodbye are the same. And a lot of times people do this, they'll do this, they wave like this. It just depends on where you are. Max signs hello too. The teacher shows Max the sign for friend and he teaches Max a lot of signs. So what is the sign for friend again? You tell me, JJ. That's right, friend. Very good friend. And if you look in the background, there's also pictures of other signs that are happening in the background of what's going on. So let's see. In this one, there's the sign for friend and the sign for bird. Very good. And in this one, there's the sign for tree and the sign for butterfly yes so see there's lots of signs the teacher gives max a book about sign language and max signs thank you 
Max takes the book home. He practices the signs for park and bike, and he practices other signs too. So park and bike is just like you're pedaling a bike. The next morning, Max sees Susan in the hall and they both make the sign for hello. Hello. Max makes the sign for, very good Cadence, friend. Susan makes the sign for friend too. Look at the smile on her face. She's so excited that he's learning to sign. Max asks Susan if she wants to ride her bike to the park. And Susan signs, yes. So Max, ax, Max asks Susan if she wants to ride her bike to the park and Susan says, yes. Susan teaches Max new signs every day. Max and Susan are good friends. So what sign are they doing right there? Bird, very good. And who remembers what the sign for dog is? It's the snap your fingers or snap and slap or just slap your leg. Uh, any of those work because not everybody can snap their fingers. So they are all correct signs. So that is our book, Max Learns Sign Language. And some of our boys and girls here have been learning sign language. And even in our story times, we practice some sign language. So you're already a long way ahead of learning how to communicate with someone who may not be able to hear you, but still wants to be your friend. So with we are going to sing a song and it is another book. It's the Five Little Ducks, right? And it goes, five little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck called quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. So we're gonna learn there's five little ducks and they went what? They went swimming one day. And what's the sign for day? Day. So, and they're over the pond and far away. So we learned a few signs. And what's the sign for mother? Does anybody remember? Mother, mother duck. What did mother duck say? That's right, the duck makes a quack quack sign. Did they all come back? <gasps> Only four little ducks came back and then three and then two, one, zero. Oh no, no little ducks came swimming back. No little ducks went out to play went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck called quack, 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 quack. And let's count five little ducks came swimming back. So remember it's five, four, three, two, one, zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five little ducks. And what's the sign for swim? Swim, like you're swimming. How about the sign for mother or mom? Yes, mother. So it's this five hand right here, mother. So mother duck said quack, 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 right? And little, like it's squishing it, like it's little and over the pond and far. So you take your two thumbs and put one on top of the other and you go far. Far away. What's the sign for day? Day. Very good. Very good. And we'll, we're going to learn some more of those signs later. But for now, we are going to listen as Gabe will read us the story, Moses Goes to School.
Hello everyone, my name is Gabe Gross. I am a teaching assistant for American Sign Language at Bucknell University. And today I'm going to tell you all a story called Moses Goes to School. I hope you all enjoy. Here we go. So the name of this story is Moses Goes to School. On the first day of school, Moses and his classmates meet in the playground across the street from their school. It is a special school, a public school for the deaf. All the children are either deaf or hard of hearing. They communicate in sign language. On this page, we see how to sign I, so you point to yourself, I go to school. In school, you clap your hands just like a teacher claps to call the kids in from recess. And for deaf school, you would sign, I go to deaf school, just like Moses. The sign for American Sign Language, just like this book, is American. You want to interlace your fingers for American Sign Language. You want to make two L's and float them away from each other. Playtime is over, children, sign the teachers. The children stop playing and line up with a partner, but they don't stop signing. They haven't seen each other all summer and they have a lot to say. My hamster gave birth to five tiny babies, Anna signs as she pairs up with Diane. I've got a cute new baby sister, Diane signs. She has no hair on her head. She is bald. On this page, we learn how to sign a new baby sister. So the sign for new, we make two palms. We sign new baby, just like you're rocking a baby to sleep, and sister. So you're going to start with a thumbs up on your chin and bring it down to a pointer finger to, right on top of each other. And the sign for teacher, as the teacher is telling the children that playtime is over, the sign is teacher, teacher. So they have information in your brain, they give it to you, teacher, just like that. Perfect. Look, I'm wearing new hearing aids, John signs. And I'm wearing new glasses, signs Moses. On this page, we learn how to sign my friend wears or uses hearing aids. Do it with me, ready? My friend wears hearing aids. And the sign for glasses is glasses. So you could also sign my friend wears glasses. Awesome, great job. The school guards, Bernard and Jeanette, stop traffic so the children and their teachers can safely cross the street. The school guards are not deaf, but they know sign language. All right, do you remember the sign for teachers? It's teachers, just like that, teachers. What about the sign for deaf? Remember from deaf school, we have deaf. One finger from your ear to your chin for deaf. And what about American Sign Language? Remember that one? We have American Sign Language. Awesome job. The children find their assigned seats and chat while they wait for their teacher. My Aunt Josephine sent me a beautiful doll from Puerto Rico, signs Diane. This summer, we visited my Canadian cousins, signs John. Now they're coming to visit us. They sent us a postcard with a beautiful stamp. I saved it for my stamp collection. I wrote a letter to my grandparents, signed Moses. They live in France. Maybe I'll visit them next summer. So what does Moses say on this page? He says, I wrote a letter. So just like right here, we can see, I wrote, just like you're holding a pencil, wrote a letter. Take your thumbs up from your lips and write to your other thumb. So I wrote a letter. What about the sign for grandparents? Well, we have the sign for grandma. You're gonna start with a five on your chin and give it two little jumps for grandma. And grandpa is the same thing from your forehead. We have grandpa. So I wrote a letter to grandma and grandpa. Awesome job. Moses and his 10 classmates stand when their teacher, Mr. Samuels, enters the classroom. Mr. Samuels wears hearing aids too. Do you remember what the sign for hearing aids was? Yeah, hearing aids, just like this, little hook, hearing aids. 
Good morning, children, he signs. Good morning, Mr. Samuels, the children sign in reply. Moses wonders why the teacher is bringing a large boom box to class. Do you guys know the sign for this morning? The sign for morning or good morning, you'd sign good. Take your hand from your chin to your other hand and then morning, just like the sun comes up in the morning. So we'd sign good morning, just like that. And what about in here? We have Moses signing in class, we stand. The sign for class, you make two C's, you make a circle for class. The sign for we, you start on your shoulder and go to your other shoulder and stand, just like you're standing on your two feet. So all together, put it together, what would that look like? And sign in class, we stand. Perfect, great job. In the morning, Moses and his classmates go next door to the tech room where they work on their computer skills. Then they practice their reading and writing. Since ASL is different from spoken English, they must learn to read and write English as it is like another language. So we know the sign for American sign language. What about the sign for English? The sign for English is English. You're gonna pull your hand into you just like that. What about the sign reading and writing? Those are really important. So we know the sign for writing. We already learned that one. The sign for reading is reading. Like you take your two eyes and you read up and down the page, just like that. Awesome job. We will continue the morning lesson written by our pen pals, signs Mr. Samuels. Moses and his classmates compose their letters in ASL. They do it first on paper. Can we also send them our pictures, Moses, Moses asks. Of course, replies Mr. Samuels. The children photograph each other using the school's digital camera. Mr. Samuels scans the picture Moses drew of his dog, Spot. Afterwards, he transfers the images to the children's computers. Here is Moses' letter in ASL. In English, he writes, Dear Mark, I'm Moses and Spot is my dog. I'm happy because I can play with my dog. I love my dog. Why? I can teach my dog different things. We play together. How? He plays with me and he jumps for his bone. Your friend, Moses. And we can see this amazing picture that Moses, is, Moses draws of his dog, Spot. He types what he wrote on his computer. Then he makes the changes that are needed to turn ASL into English. Mr. Samuels helps him. When Moses has finished the letter, he sends it by electronic mail or email to Mark at his school's website. When Mark logs in on the website using his password, he will see that he has mail. During their lunch break, Mr. Samuels has written the words to take me out to the ball game on the blackboard. The children jump with joy. A song, a song. Now they know why Mr. Samuels brought a boombox to class. On this page, we can see Moses signing, I am happy. Do it with me, ready? I am happy. Moses and his classmates don't hear the music, but they can feel the vibrations and sign the words to the song, take me out to the ball game. All right, we're gonna sign this together. Are you ready? Take me out to the ball game, take me out with the crowd, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back, let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Awesome job. Afterwards, they make a circle and dance. 
the sign for a dance is just like this. Like you got your feet and you're dancing. Awesome. The school day is over. Do you remember the sign for school? School, just like that. The children put their books and pencils in their backpacks and say goodbye to the teacher. I'm glad you're a teacher, Mr. Samuels, signs Moses. If you were going to say, I'm happy you're my teacher, how would you sign that? Say, I'm happy you are my teacher. <laughs> nice job. On the way out, Moses and his classmates say goodbye to Jeanette and Bernard. Look at my new history book, signs Diane. We learned a song in class, signs Moses. Bernard smiles. Hurry, boys and girls. The bus driver is waiting. See you all tomorrow, Jeanette signs. The sign for song is song, just like this, like they sang in class. When the school bus stops in front of the apartment building where Moses lives, his mother and his dog Spot are waiting. And here Moses signs, I live in an apartment. I'll do that again, ready? I live in an apartment. Nice. What about the song sign for dog? I don't think we learned that one. The sign for dog is dog, just like you're snapping to get your dog's attention, dog. Moses hugs his dog. How was the first day of school? His mother asks as they wait for the elevator. Great, mom, signs Moses. I have 10 classmates. They come from many different countries and all 10 are my friends. We can see Moses hugging his dog. So how do we sign I love my dog? Right here we have my dog, look just like that, the snap fingers, I love. What about the sign from mom and dad? Remember that grandma and grandpa were two jumps? From mom and dad, it's just right on our chin or even one jump if you wanted to. So mom and dad is just like grandpa, just up here, dad. Moses unzips his backpack and shows his mother a picture, which Mr. Samuels took of Moses with his classmates. And there we can see Moses right there in the striped shirt in front. Well, thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope you enjoyed it. I love this story because it gets to show deaf kids going to school in class and they're just like me. I also wear hearing aids. And so I have friends that use sign language in class too. And that's just like using English. It's just another language. But again, I hope you enjoyed the story and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Welcome back. Wasn't that an awesome story? I really enjoyed that. And I enjoyed Gabe's interpretation and reading of the story for us. I really enjoyed that. And a lot of our students from Bucknell and the teaching assistants that have helped with these story times, once we're back in person, we might be able to have them special special guest appear at some of our story times. But for now, we're just thankful that they've been able to read and pre-record a story time to be included in our story times as we go on and celebrate different cultures around the world and around our country. So we are going to end. We're going to sing a song of the days of the week. And I want to go over the days of the week with you. So remember, there's how many songs? How many days of the week are there? Yes, what do you think? Good job, Molly. There are seven days of the week and we're going to count all the way up to 10. Let's practice our counting. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10. 10 is thumb up and shake it. But we remember there's only seven days. So the sign for day is you take, like you're making the D and the sun is up in the sky and it sets day and then week. Like you're talking about a calendar, so week. So days of the week. And there are seven days in the week. And this is to the tune of uh, the Adams Family. And we're gonna go over the days of the week and we're gonna sign the days and say them, but don't worry if you don't know the signs. I'm gonna show them to you but we will go ahead and we'll, that way you'll have it in the video. So Sunday, or you could do it in a circle, but it's Sunday, it's the M, Monday, the T, Tuesday, the W, Wednesday, 
And for Thursday, because it starts with a T, we're gonna go T-H. So T-H, Thursday. Friday is the F, Friday. And then Saturday, which is why Sunday's different, is the S and Sunday, Saturday. And then remember Sunday. So we start with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. So we will go ahead and we'll sing this through at least two times, but it goes days of the week, days of the week. So days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Very good. You guys did a great job. And that's kind of hard to sing and sign at the same time in the right speed because Miss Davina is not real fast, but we'll do that again. So ready? Here we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Yay! That was so good! Thank you for helping Miss Davina sing our song. And I hope you enjoyed our special story time, experiencing a little bit about deaf culture. And like I said, maybe we can have our different TAs and students at Bucknell that can actually come and share about their culture in person um, in the future. But right now we're very fortunate to have had them be able to pre-record their readings of different books focusing in different cultures. So we will say thank you to Gabe and thank you to Bucknell for partnering with the public library here in Union County in Lewisburg. And if you want to access this story time, you can either go to our Facebook page or our YouTube uh, playlist. So if you go to our uh, library website at uniontylibraries.org. Click on the events calendar and find the green preschool story time tab. You'll find both links to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page and you'll find the playlist with the dates and the titles for each of our story times that are there under preschool story time. So we will go ahead and we will sing our goodbye song and I will see you next time, and thank you for helping. Ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We clap our hands like this. Yay, yay. Thank you. Goodbye.